to remote sensing applications using ArcGIS. In this video session, I'll teach you how to use ArcScene to create flyby animations. So here's an example that was produced from ArcScene. We're going to start at Barrow and basically fly at high altitude to Anchorage. So we'll start this animation. So this is Barrow. And then basically we're flying by using a modus image and a hill shade. So here's the Brooks range. And then we're in interior Alaska. And then this is the Alaska range. Denali is right there. Entering the Susitna Valley and ending around Anchorage. So that's what we're going to be working on in this session. And instead of using ArcMap, we're going to use ArcScene to create a 3D flyby. OK, so if you go to Programs and then ArcGIS, there's ArcMap and other ArcGIS applications. We're going to use an application called ArcScene. So start ArcScene, and that allows you for three-dimensional viewing. And what we're going to do is add to our uh, data frame, basically, the Alaska MODIS image. And then we could assign an elevation to that layer. So what you would do is right mouse click and go to layer properties, and then for base height. So we're going to assign elevation from the Alaska Elevation raster to each pixel in the MODIS pixel. OK, so then under our data frame properties, our scene properties, we can assign vertical exaggeration. So vertical exaggeration, let's assign it as a value of 10. And then we'll also assign a background color, some sky color. So then we can use this navigate button to navigate an arc scene. So left allows us to move our scene up and down. And then the middle mouse button zooms in and zooms out. So now you can see, for example, three dimension. Um, here's Denali right here in three dimensions. And then the right mouse button allows you to zoom in or zoom out. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a path going from Barrow to Anchorage, and then zoom to layer. Oops. So zoom to layer. So what we want to do is there's our path from Barrow to Anchorage. What we want to do is fly along this path, starting at Barrow and ending at Anchorage, and create an animation from that path. OK, so we want to create a flyby. So the first thing we need to do is select the line that we're going to use as our flying route. So we can select this line. If we open the attribute table, we'll select the row. OK, so now we've got the line selected from Barrow to Anchorage, so we could actually just uncheck it visibly. And then from animation, what you would choose is create flyby from path. So the first thing is, how high are we going to be flying? So I'll set it at 50,000 meters flying height. So 50, 1, 2, 3,000 meters flying height. So that's how high we're flying. And then the second thing is, what's the angle that we're going to be looking at? So here I have, we're looking down at a minus 15 degree angle. And then just OK. And then import. So that imports the flight path. And we could look at it using the animation control. So we're going to look at it. And we're going to look at it in, let's just do three seconds and play it in three seconds. So there we are flying in three seconds from Barrow to Anchorage. So then if you don't like that, you can change the control. So if we go back to create flyby by path, let's say we want to go lower. 
So we'll go to 40,000. And let's say we want to look down more. So we'll look down at an angle of negative 45. And then import that. And then let's see what that will look like in three seconds. So we're flying higher and we're looking down more. So basically, it's up to you to control how you like it, and then you can create an animation that flies by. So let's say I want to fly even higher. So create flyby from path, um, let's say, 50,000. And let's say I'm going to look down at minus 65 degrees. And then we'll see what that looks like. So that's much more like a high altitude flight. OK, you see our image, we can see individual pixels. So we can change that. So if we go to our image and go to properties, and then under the display tab, resample. So instead of nearest neighbor, we'll choose bilinear interpolation. So then we get this bilinear interpolation. And then once again, we could change our scene properties. So let's do a vertical exaggeration of 10 instead of 5. OK, and then let's see what we get with those options. So now we're flying higher, and we're looking down more. And then once you get the way you want it, you could change, for example, let's do a duration of 30 seconds. So here we're going to fly from Barrow to Anchorage, and the duration is going to be 30 seconds. So here's the Brooks Range, and then Interior Alaska. And then the Alaska Range, Denali is right there, and then Cook Inlet and Anchorage, and then the Chugach Range. OK, so that's how flyby animations work. You basically control how high you are above the ground surface and then what the viewing angle is. So for example, we could go lower. So create flyby by path. And let's go instead of 50,000, let's go to 10,000. And then we'll play that. So now we're going to be flying a lot lower. And since we're flying a lot lower, in this case, the imagery is pretty fuzzy because we're so close to um, the imagery. So you need high resolution imagery if you're going to fly very close to the ground. So for this type of imagery, it'd probably be more appropriate to fly higher. So let's go 40,000. OK, and then once you're happy with your flyby, then you would just select Animation, Export Animation, and you would be exporting your 3D animation flyby to an AVI file. OK, so if you go to the Blackboard website, there's a quiz question there that will lead you to the next